When we look at the face of the earth, we see a mystery. These rocks once lay flat. Some titanic force raised them. are made in the same way. This volcano is young geologically, perhaps only 5,000 years old. Below stretch fields of lava, hundreds of feet thick, petrified in motion. Beneath the crust, a 40-foot-high cavern, a tunnel to the base of the volcano. Through here flowed the molten rock. Still, silent evidence of past violence. But not all clues to the origin of the Earth's surface are silent. Why is it so hot inside the earth?
one of the clouds of dust swirling around the sun compacted into a molten orb. Gradually, the outer layer became solid, or almost solid. This layer, the mantle, contained slow-moving convection currents. Where the currents rose, material was moved upward to form a scum or crust. This crust drifted across the surface on the currents. Where two crusts or plates met, one was driven down on the descending current. The result was heat and turbulence, which caused earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Clouds of water vapor were released as steam and rose to form the atmosphere. The vapor condensed and fell to earth, forming the oceans. created mountains, very slowly washing them away. Where two currents in the mantle converged, the worn down mountains heaved and buckled. Slowly, the raindrops eroded these mountains to the sea. Layer by layer, the sediment was laid on the ocean floor and became rock. Once again came the great push upwards.
we look at a sedimentary mountain, we see the forced and folded layers. Meanwhile, the rain just kept falling. As the canyons deepen and widen into outwashed plains and the rivers return the mountains once again to the sea, the forces of mountain building are still at work. Many scientists believe the earth was once a single land mass. They suggest the pull of the currents split this mass into the continental pattern we recognize now. At the San Andreas Fault in California, the land on each side is moving in opposite directions, carried along on the currents within the earth. Along this rift or fault, volcanoes spewed forth their molten lava not so long ago. And someday they will erupt again. There is no end to the cycle of change. we still gaze upon a mystery, the face of the earth.